Matty, Matty Dale just shakes hands with Gary Portelli running second there. Foul swoop at Gaza. The seven-year-old stallion produces for his second Group 1 win. There's hope for us all, isn't there, Simon? <laughs> oh, look, it's been a great team effort by our, our staff. Um, we've been taking him down to the beach and putting him over some hurdles and just trying to break it up. He's, he's a seven-year-old stallion. And um, I knew he had it in his last start at Randwick. He ran 32 his last 600. It was the second fastest outside of a stern. So I said, we've got to have a go at this race. And uh, here we are in the winner's circle. So uh, sometimes you can be right. That's just the price. is a massive price for those that had something on. Well, you've got a great group of owners that have stuck through with you. He is a Group 1 winner. Was there times where you thought, time to go to a stud with him and, uh, and, and place him somewhere? Oh, there, there hasn't been many opportunities um, so far. Um, a lot of the uh, two-year-olds and three-year-olds get them places pretty quick these days. Um, but look... <laughs> I've got to thank Louis Mahika and the syndicate for, for leaving him with us and, and giving us every chance to have another crack at the Manicato. We could have pulled up stumps probably early in this campaign, but we've been confident the horse has been right, and it's only a matter of getting some luck, and he'd finish in the top five tonight would have been probably all, all I thought he could do really anyway. Well, he's been quite close here on a number of occasions. You were thinking Mooney Valley mightn't be his track. Exactly. Well, he's, he's it's funny, like, you think that the way he races, he'd need a bigger track. When he gets to Flemington or uh, Ramwick, he's a bit vulnerable there but he's ran some big races against some of the best sprinters here he's been in plenty of top class horses photos and now they're in his what were you thinking when ben mallon went to the fence and stuck hard look i don't think there's anything wrong with the fence obviously um he said that um you probably just want to be a couple off coming the corner and i i saw him looking to try and push holler out of the way and holler's a monster of a horse he just shoved us back he had to look back on the inside to make sure he's clear to cut the corner so he must have thought he had some horse to be to be thinking about cutting the corner and uh geez he put in tonight it was a great effort Gaz, you've got a great group of owners here. You're going to celebrate hard tonight. That's an amazing effort. At 9am, flight's looking a bit uh, a bit ordinary tomorrow. We cancelled the flight, Richo. Where are you? <laughs> I'm here with Louis Michael here from Laurel Oak. L Louis, congratulations. You've had faith in this horse. Many others have dropped off. Uh, Jason, it's been sensational. It's been a fanta fantastic horse for us. But he doesn't have a lot of luck in big races. And, and this race, this track suits him. He races well here. He's run fifth fourth, third, and now we thought he'd run, if we run second, the, prog the regression continues, but Benny rode him sensationally, and uh, and uh, we won. It's sensational. It's just, it's just been so good. We had a lunch today, and Steve Moran told us how how his 2.5 lengths defeats over three years have cost him $1.6 in prize money. <laughs> Ouch! Yeah, so, thanks, Matt. <laughs> Steve shouldn't have told you that. Yeah, so, so this is made up for it, but the barrier really counted because this poor bugger, if you go through his form, he's had no luck with barriers over the years. He's a 13s and 14s and 15s and 24s in Stradbrokes and Big Race and TJ Smith, so he's always had to do it tough. And last start, he ran the second fastest sectional behind a stern of the whole meeting uh, in the Premier and he, so he knew he's got it in him but he just needed a good barrier and he got it today and uh, and but even then we didn't, we didn't think we were going to win it. <laughs> we were hoping, we were hoping. It's just it's stunning. Well, hallelujah for you. You've got a big bunch of owners. They're all very keen to see it. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's a huge win, Simon. Uh, well, a man next.